Hey everyone and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be discussing a couple of different kinds of tinctures for MOVE, which is a medical marijuana treatment center in Florida. So let me tell you the story of how I ended up with two different tinctures. Well, I bought the strain-specific cannabis tincture in the strain Strawberry Cough, and it's a 600 milligram bottle of THC tincture. I used one dropper full of it. I think it's a milliliter. And I was so like tired and just basically really stoned off of one dropper full of this product, which in the older days I would have been like, this is great. But nowadays I don't really use cannabis to get high necessarily. I just basically use it to try to really calm my anxiety and just keep a cool state of mind, if you will. And anyway, it was just like too intense for me. I was not able to like speak fast enough to make a video and stuff. Like I was just kind of lagging. I'll use it for nighttime and to help me like fall asleep maybe just because it really slows me down and sedates me. But yeah, so I feel like this is gonna be right for some patients out there. Somebody out there is probably watching this and thinking that sounds like something I want. So. Just letting you know, it's a very strong product, I think. That was my experience anyway. Every time I took it, like I only took one dropper and it just made me really stoned. So, and maybe that's my tolerance too. Like I've been using more CBD products lately and I think my THC tolerance is going down. So maybe that has something to do with it, but it just seemed like really strong when I used it, so. So I ended up going back to MOVE and buying the CBD tincture. And the CBD tincture is good because it works, I think. I mean, it has CBD in it, but it also has some kind of strange additives. Like it does contain alcohol. The plus side to the CBD tincture is that it mixes into liquids. Um, it's water soluble. So that's kind of nice. You can mix it into something and drink it or take it as a CBD shot or something to kind of mask the taste of it. But the RSO tincture, the strain specific tincture, the taste is not bad of this one. So let me tell you about the ingredients in the RSO tincture. The active ingredient is strain specific RSO. The inactive ingredients are MCT, sunflower oil, peppermint oil, or other flavoring. Then with the Move CBD tincture, active ingredients are 10 milligrams of CBD per milliliter, inactive ingredients, vegetable glycerin, ethanol, medium chain triglycerides, so MCT, water, sunflower oil, oleic acid, natural terpenes. So it's a couple of different carrier oils in the two different tinctures. And the result is that the RSO strain specific tincture tastes fine to me. It just tastes like a little bit like peppermint because you taste the peppermint oil in there, but it's a very mild peppermint taste. Very, very mild in the RSO tincture. Whereas the taste of this uh, CBD tincture is a little bit, is a little bit more interesting. So I would recommend when you use the CBD tincture, just mix it into a drink or something. That's what I do with it anyway. And I find it to be much easier to consume that way. <laughs> Just letting you know. So I would say the RSO strain specific tincture is just really, really strong. At least that was my experience. And it tastes not too bad. The taste is very mild. And then the CBD tincture, it's a little harder to tell if it works, so to speak, but I think it does. And it contains CBD instead of THC. So I guess it's, it's just harder to notice the effects because CBD is not psychoactive, where THC is psychoactive, so you can feel effects from it because it makes you sort of high or very high, depending on how much of it you use. THC that is, not CBD. <laughs> Have you tried any of the tinctures from Move and do you like them? Especially the strain specific RSO tincture, that one is I think the newest of all of the tinctures that they sell at this time, of course. But yeah, I'm glad that I got these. I um, I feel like the CBD works. I tried some of this before bed last night. I was like mixing this with kombucha and drinking it that way. And I think it really relaxed me and made me ready for bed. So I think that was pretty awesome. So yeah, 
I think it works. I'll probably buy the CBD tincture again from Move because honestly, okay, I want to buy more CBD products from the dispensaries, from the MMTCs, but I feel like there is, there, okay, it's too general to say that there's not a lot of CBD products at the dispensaries because there is some variety of CBD. I mean, there's this CBD product. Um, there are one-to-one -one products, but for the most part, it seems like the dispensaries focus heavily on THC products, which is understandable. And I don't have a problem with that, of course. Um, I just kind of wish there were more CBD because now I'm trying to use more CBD and I'm finding myself not sure which brands to use because there are so many CBD brands out there because you don't need a medical card to buy CBD. You can buy CBD from a number of places online. You can buy it from smoke shops. You can even buy CBD at like gas stations now. Like it's everywhere, of course, as me like, most of us probably know that. People watching this video already probably know for the most part. But um, anyway, my question of the day is, do you go outside of the dispensaries for your CBD? And what are your favorite CBD brands? And should I review CBD products? Um, would that be something you guys would be interested in or not? Because I find myself using more CBD these days. So, um, or wanting to use more CBD. Right now I just have the Move CBD tincture and a few other CBD products lying around. But um, yeah, let me know what you think about that. If you're interested at all in CBD reviews or if I should just keep it THC. Oh, one last thing, Move sells this lotion it's the rosemary mint hydrating lotion and i am obsessed with this lotion it has aloe as the first ingredient aloe leaf juice and then it also has safflower oil vegetable emulsifiers rosehip oil squalene shea butter cannabis extract green tea vitamin e potassium sorbate and natural fragrance and it is divine it is so moisturizing and it absorbs into the hands really well or like into your skin i've been using it on my hands like because i like moisturized hands um so <laughs> um i've been using this lately and i love it have you tried this i recommend it i it has thc and cbd in it and i don't know if that's meant to be psychoactive when it's used topically or if not I'm still a little unclear on that myself, so don't ask me because I don't know. But I'd like to find out. I should ask someone at Move. But either way, it's a very moisturizing lotion. And no, this is not sponsored by Move in any way. Um, I feel like this is a very Move heavy product video, but these are all my products. I bought them and I happen to just really enjoy them. So that's my review. Have you tried Moves products? Do you like them? And have you also tried CBD products? That's the other question of the day. Do you like CBD from other places outside of the dispensaries? Let me know. Bye. See you next time.